Right. So it seems Rishi Sunak has a problem. And his problem is being an overly entitled rich kid who doesn't like being told what to do and doesn't want to have some pesky human rights stopping him from doing what he wants to do. And what he wants to do is deport people fleeing war zones arriving here in dinghies because it's what his frothing red-faced gaminati base and party want. The European Convention on Human Rights, or ECHR, is the basic fundamentals of human decency. To even float the idea of ditching it, or the dreaded Tory mantra of reforming it into some British Bill of Rights or something else equally preposterous, should be an immediate red flag. And for the sake of getting rid of people arriving here in boats, having left God knows what behind them, because until they make their asylum claim, which is their internationally recognised legal human right, we don't know and can't judge them for it. But this is the rub for the Tories. They don't want to know. They just don't want them here. And that pesky European Convention on Human Rights is stopping them from just sending them back where they came from. It's Article 14 of the ECHR that's doing their heads in, the right to freedom from discrimination. This includes an internationally recognised definition for the term refugee. It set out a refugee's right to claim asylum in another country and that they may not be returned to a place where they can face persecution. Most importantly, and most upsetting for the Tories, is that it includes a prohibition from penalty for anyone illegally entering a country in order to claim asylum if that ends up being necessary for them to do so. As far as the UK goes, it is. There is no legal route to get here to claim asylum. Yet we are signatories of the ECHR. In fact, the UK were key to the drafting of the ECHR in the wake of World War II. British lawyers drafted it. That should be a source of enormous national pride. Yet now, here we are, and the Tories are mulling over leaving it so they can return asylum seekers to barbaric regimes, back potentially to their deaths in theory, purely because they don't want them here. We're at this point to nobody's surprise whatsoever because of our horrendous Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, herself the daughter of migrants, but they were economic ones, so that's okay. It's not enough that she dreams of deportations, wants to x-ray migrant kids to check they really are kids or lecture Holocaust survivors even. She's now drawn up new legislation skirting so close to the wire of the ECHR that it even includes removing the right to appeal should an asylum claim fail or refuse an asylum appeal to be heard until after the applicant has been deported. They believe they're still acting within the confines of the ECHR, but if the European Court of Human Rights rules against Braverman, then the option of withdrawing from the ECHR completely arises. And this seems pretty likely to me. There's no way the European Court will accept the watering down of the ECHR in any way, shape or form. The thing is, if the Tories decide to withdraw from it, they'll have the likes of Suella Braverman and Dominic Raab salivating with glee. Because if you thought Brexit had blighted our lives with what we lost, you won't believe how much you still take for granted that they will then be in a position to tear up too. The ECHR covers the right to life, the right to freedom from torture or from slavery. It covers your right to liberty, to free trial, to not be punished except in accordance with the law. It covers your right to privacy, the right to freedom of thought or freedom of expression, your freedom to choose your own religion, your right to get married even and have a family and more besides. They really are the basics. Without the ECHR, this could all in theory be binned and could be the price we all pay with migrants in the way for the Tories wanting to do the hard right thing. The price we pay for a weakling prime minister like Rishi Sunak to placate the racist rabble of a party he oversees. So if you're cheering for this, you better be careful what you wish for. Because if you think they won't turn on us, where have you been for the last 13 years of Tory rule? We'd end up a rogue state, booted out of the Council of Europe over it to join the likes of Russia and Belarus. Sunak would be our Putin, just minus anything resembling a spine, of course. Our relations with Europe would be made considerably worse than they already are. We'd end up ditching a set of fundamentals specifically created to ensure fascism never again rises to power in Europe, instead setting the scene for such a possibility to end up happening here. Sunak and his government have no mandate to pull us out of the ECHR. And if it's what he wants to do, then he'd better damn well call an election, because there's no time for sitting idly by if moves are made to make withdrawal from the European Convention on Human Rights happen without one. If you need to pull out of the ECHR in order to be able to do something, then it just isn't something you should be doing. 